Alright, what's going on guys? Boy TG, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about my wish list for NHL 24, meaning what do I want there to be in NHL 24 and whatnot. So we're going to go over that today in this video. Now, they have not said nothing yet about NHL 24, which that's classic EA, because they can make, they can say something about Madden, they can say something about FIFA, they can even say something about UFC, um, or any other game that they create. And not say something about NHL 24. That's classic EA. Like, usually they say something about it when it's the NHL Wars or something like that. They mostly talk about when it's like the NHL Wars or before then and stuff. But they haven't said nothing about it. So, I'm just going to go over this wish list right now. So, first thing, what I want there to be in NHL 24, when it comes out, if EA gets to it, because I know they've been working on Madden and FIFA and all the other games, but the first thing I want there to be on NHL 24, when it comes out, is win a classic. Like, I want to be able to do a win a classic game on there. All the previous NHL games, you cannot do win a classic. For NHL 24, I want there to be a mode where I can do Winter Classic. Where I can be the two teams that were in the Winter Classic, that were recently in the Winter Classic. So, like, for an example, Pittsburgh Penguins, Boston Bruins, they were recently in the Winter Classic. Uh, so, if I wanted to do a mode, I would be one of those two teams and play the, play the Winter Classic game. Like, I want there to be a mode of that. And not only... A mold of that, but also so you can be able to do it in the regular season. So, like, when you do season mode or you do franchise mode or be a pro or whatever you do, I want that to be in the mode as well. So, not only do I want it to be a separate mode, like a mode that you can just do by itself without going to sim through an entire season, uh, but only to be in uh, be a pro, franchise mode, season mode, all that other stuff on there. So, just separate mode. And then a game that's built in the mode. You guys know what I'm saying. If you still don't know what I'm saying about that, put it down in the comments and then I'll explain it to you in the comments. Up next, I want there to be an all-star game mode. So, like, uh, I play NBA 2K um, and you can do all-star game mode. Like, you can be the two uh, all-star teams on NBA 2K. I don't think you can do that in NHL. I want there to. I want there to be all-star game mode in NHL. Not only that, but also in be a pro franchise mode and season mode. I want it to be in that too. So, uh, I think it's the same thing that you do in NBA 2K. Like, um, season mode, you do all-star game. And I want there to be the skills competition too. I forgot to add that too. I want there to be the skills competition. So, like, when you play NBA 2K, for all you people that play NBA 2K... Uh, you do the three-point contest, you do the dunk contest, and you do something else that I don't know. Uh, but I, all I know is you do the three-point contest and the dunk contest. So, just like that, I want there to be a skills competition mode where you do save street, fastest skater, hardest shot, shooting accuracy. I want that mode to be built in NHL 24 as well. So, EA... If you're watching this video, hopefully you can make it happen and get to NHL 24 instead of worrying about all your other games. Up next, I want them to always update their rosters whenever there's a trade happening. So, like, um, I know they didn't say anything yet, but say if a team makes a trade somewhere during the 2023-2024 NHL season, I don't want to have to go back into the game and then change that trade. Because ever since I got NHL 18, you guys know that's my first game I got. Because I said it in one of my videos. Uh, I've been having to go back in, update the rosters, update every trade that's been happening. Because I feel like they might, EA might do this. They might do this. But I feel like they don't do it, in my opinion. They could actually do it. I just don't realize it. But from... NHL 18 to NHL 23, I've been updating the rosters. EA has not. They might do that. I'm saying because I know some of you guys might say, yes, they do. They do update the rosters. They might. They could actually might. But in my opinion, they don't. So I want them to always 
update their rosters whenever a trade happens or whenever a team trades somebody for draft picks. Anyway, um, next one, and I know that this is going to be impossible or stupid to do. This might be the stupidest thing I'm about to say, but make the game for Nintendo Switch. We need the game for Nintendo Switch. I mean, EA, they made FIFA for Nintendo Switch. They can make all the FIFA games they want for the Nintendo Switch. And they don't do the same thing for NHL. So, EA, please make the game for Nintendo Switch. I mean, as yes, playing NHL on the Xbox and PS4 is great and all. But, hey, we want to take the game on the road. Like, say if you want to on a family vacation, you want to play NHL on your Nintendo Switch, just like you play Mario Kart or NBA 2K or whatever game you guys play on a Nintendo Switch. You can play NHL on a Nintendo Switch, so EA needs you to make that happen. Up next, I want you guys to make the game for iPhone. I want it to be an NHL EA Sports iPhone game. I mean, EA can make NBA Live for the iPhone. They can make Madden for the iPhone. They can make FIFA for the iPhone. They can make UFC for the iPhone. P.S. I watch UFC every once in a while. Not going to lie. Not going to lie to you guys. But anyway, <coughs> they can make all those other games for the iPhone. <coughs> Excuse me. And they can make NHL for the iPhone. So that's what I want them to do. Make... The game for iPhone, make it for Nintendo Switch, because us hockey fans want to still play NHL, not only on the Xbox, not only on the PS4, but also Nintendo Switch and iPhone. So EA, make it happen, please. Now, another thing I want, and I know this is one that everybody's been wanting, uh, is the NHL to come back to PC. So I know uh, some of you guys might have PC computers, and PC stuff, and I know everybody's been wanting the NHL to come back to PC, so EA, hopefully you guys can do that too, give everybody what they want, make NHL come back to PC, I think the last game now for PC uh, was NHL, either NHL or 08 or NHL 09, if I'm not mistaken. Another thing I want um, for them to have on the game is well, blacktop mode. And I put it in quotes because I, I want to, because like, if you guys play NBA 2K, if you play NBA 2K, you notice that there's a blacktop mode on there where you can choose five players from whatever team you like and just choose them. Even you, you can choose all-time players if you want to. You can choose all-time players and you can choose the current players to play blacktop mode on NBA 2K. I want the same thing in NHL. So I want there to be a pond, like players going out on the pond to play hockey and choosing six players from different teams, all-time and current players. I want there to be like the same thing. You guys are following me. Um, you know what I'm saying. So all my NBA 2K players that are watching this video, uh, you guys know Black Tom mode, choose five different players for one team. You mean choose five different players for any team and you play outside. Uh, you play outside basketball. I kind of want it to be outside hockey, like pond hockey, like six players from different teams, all time or current. So I want it to be a mold exactly like that. Now, as for the cover of it, the person who I really think should get the cover on NHL 24, I got to go with my boy Jack Hughes. And this was something done on Instagram right here. I just took a screenshot of it and, and you know, cropped it out. So this was on Instagram. I will put the link in the description. So how cool would a cover of Jack Hughes be? I mean, Jack Hughes, he deserves to be on the cover. Some of you guys might think I'm funny for saying this, but it's true. I got to go with my boy Jack Hughes. He deserves to be on the cover. Excellent play to watch. Put up a 40-plus goal season. Um, Could have been one of the best seasons of his NHL career, despite him not being in the NHL for too long. I just dropped my phone. Um, but yeah, I think he deserves to be on the cover. So hopefully, uh, EA can make this happen. And here's some other covers. Like if they don't put Jack Hughes on the cover, at least they can go with Sidney Crosby. I saw this one on the bar down NHL post that they had. 
Um, so I'll put that link in the description as well. I'll put the ball bar down link where they had different covers like that. So if they don't add Jack Hughes on the cover, which hopefully they do, they can at least add a veteran like Sidney Crosby on the cover. Or Kim, or wait, yeah. or they can add another young player like Kale McCarr. Again, this is something I saw on Bar Down. So they can add Kale McCarr on the cover. And there's another Jack Hughes cover picture. But I really think Jack Hughes deserves to be on the cover uh, for his excellent talent. And drafted first overall by the Devils in the 2019 NHL Draft. Great play to watch. Great skating ability. He could dangle the D, shoot the puck very well. Excellent play to watch. So I think Jack Hughes would deserve to be on the cover of NHL 24. Let me go back and show you guys again. I really like this cover the most. Out of all the other covers I showed you guys, I like this one the most. I mean, I think this one deserves to be the official cover of NHL 24. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. So let me know what you guys think on this. If you agree or disagree with uh, my decisions, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to end the video right here. So if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like. Hit it with a subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.